What's up, YouTube? It's Kafan here on location at the Hobby Corner. And I've added some inventory here. <laughs> Got a 1980 Exhibits Mickey Mantle PSA 8, $30. A BVG graded. LK Line 1964 Tops Giants for $15. Mm. Trying to get rid of that glare there. I still got this uh, Tops Archives sticker of Mickey Mantle. Ten dollars. This shout out to Nevermore eleven fifteen on this 07 UD masterpieces. Tony Gwynn. PSA nine mint graded relic twenty five dollars. Yeah, still trying to sell these uh, Bowmans after I upgraded for my PC. 1955 Pee Wee Reese is $15. The 1952 early win is $10. Paul Harper's Daily 2014 Tops Museum Bryce Harper numbered to 50 for $20. Even though he's having a terrible season, should be, still be some interest in that. Just kind of seeing what people are wanting here at the Hobby Corner. And that. Mickey Mantle, 52 reprint. Beckett Collectors Club grading. A nine for $15. And I picked up a bunch of Ginter relics from this year. Tony Gwynn for $10. Along with a bunch more for $6 with Matt Kane. Evan Longoria, David Price. Included in those. And some boxes that are still uh, selling here. It's just selling the single packs here. 2014 Ginter, 88 Fleer Cello. Four of those have sold. That's nice. And the 2014 Donruss back here. Uh, trying to do $4 a pack on that. We'll see. Um, I think actually uh, nine of those have sold. Maybe less, but not too bad. Down here, some blasters of 2014 Panini Golden Age. And right now I'm sharing this case with some uh, backgammon and cribbage. Along with some poker chips. And over to the non-sport. And these two boxes are mine. The Wrestling Heritage, it's $3 a pack. And the Mars Attacks is $3 a pack. Those are both hobby boxes. And these are uh, the Hobby Corner has these uh, My Little Ponies and some other packs. And heading over here, uh, we did uh, get this uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle poster from the theater. They had a few over there, right across the way here. And right over here, look at this 2013 Allen and Ginter Iraq packs. I picked up a jumbo box. Of 18 of those. So those are four dollars. And I was gonna show these Star Wars sleeves that they have here. Those are pretty neat. Um, all kinds of uh, card supplies here too. Uh, here's the magic case. And Kajudo. Not familiar with those. If you have some other card collecting supplies here and the big uh, magic boxes back there so eventually i'm going to be going into this case and i'm going to share this case with the non-sport so that's why i picked up those non-sport be sharing it with like the my little pony and my non-sport boxes and then i'm going to have this whole case so it's all going to be next to the magic cards and also i want to try to have some hobby boxes for sale back there and it'll be next to the hobby corners stuff so all the cards will be together. And they have a pretty good uh, customer base that does magic. They're doing uh, magic in the back room right now. And we're right back there. And movie theater's right across the way here. So that'll be it. I actually uh, had the idea to get a card here in the windowsill. So, right over.
over here. I got another one of those Mickey Mantle reprints. So there we go. It's official. An incredibly fun time. Baseball cards at the Hobby Corner. Thanks for watching.